What up YouTube, it is Purificix and I wanted to bring you a little update on the Killifish project. Um, a couple people have made a request to see the little guy and I wanted to show you to um, show him to you. Uh, as you know I had three hatch and I got a turnout of little of one little guy so one of them survived. Um, as you know they, the Killifish are very very small fish. But the one that has has survived, as you can see, he's gotten really big. Eating um, live brine shrimp very well. And he's super fast. But he's gotten super big in um, a matter of, uh, you know, about two weeks. So I am very happy to have this Richovi killifish in the 10 gallon. I did do my second batch. Now I did that just yesterday, so... I'm not exactly sure when I did the last batch, but it is the date of when I uh, posted the hatching um, video. So I believe that's number Killifish Project number two. So um, from that date, uh, it's I know it's been over 10 days though. It's probably been way over that. Uh, but the date on my package said actually the 30th. So I think this is right one of the package date. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I got for the hatch. All right, so now we're in the fish room. And as you can see, this is a little tray next to my hatching dish. I did it the exact same way as before. Put the, uh, I just get some tank water, put some of that, uh, put all of the dirt in there or soil, whatever you call it. Um, and you know, it's planting soil or something like that. So put all that stuff in there with the eggs and just let them hatch. I got lucky this time. I think I believe I've counted 16 that I've found so far. And you can barely even see them. But there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Gosh, they're harder to see on the camera than they are in real life. I never thought that was even possible. But if you tap the tray, you can see them all. So I got about 15 to 16, and actually I'll show you their ha their little tank that I made these guys. I didn't want to put them in with the big one because I'm afraid that he would eat these little guys. So I actually made them their own little tank as well. So I'll bring you over to that. Bam! Now how's that for big pimping? Got my this is a 2.5 gallon. This is a TV stand. This is a baby TV stand at that. Uh, I found a good use for my 2.5 gallon though. I am going to put some bubbles in it and I'm going to get a small hang on uh, filter for this one as well but I, I don't have that right now. I only have the big one so I'm going to have to get that tomorrow. I actually found some uh, little lights that I found. I found these in a garbage in Salt Lake. <laughs> actually it was at my uh, work but it was a garbage and it was full of these things. It was like a whole bag of them. I got like a hundred of them, I swear. So I figured I have some use for it. Make them little LEDs in here. Put a little Java Moss again. So they got a good home. But this tank is looking pretty sweet for a 2.5 gallon killifish tank. And it's right next to my other killifish tank. So I just look right over here. And I got my other dude. Wherever he went. But he's a big guy now. So yeah that's about it I'm gonna put all 13 to 16 killifish in this um, 2.5 gallon together and let them eat off of the java moss with the micro worms and I'll bring you an update soon alright, here for kicks, I'm out <laughs>